You know, bars are okay, but they're too open, too well-known. Anybody can just walk into a bar and get a drink. I want to go find something secret, like, like a speakeasy. Speakeasy? Yeah. Think they have some here in Las Vegas? I'm sure there's a speakeasy in Las Vegas we can find. If we know the password. Well, let's go find some speakeasies. Let's go find some speakeasies. So come join us while we try to find some speakeasies in Las Vegas. Some underground stuff. Welcome to Destination Vegas. The adventures of Diego and Tosh in the fabulous city of Las Vegas. And now, here's Diego and Tosh. Our first location brings us to the old federal courthouse and U.S. post office. Now it's a museum dedicated to the history of the mob. Our first destination is the underground at the mob museum. And we got our password. We're going to go down into the speakeasy and get a few drinks. Are you sure this is going to work, Tosh? I think this will work. The guy was kind of uh, scary looking. As long as my, as long as the password's good, we'll get in. Scram. How are we doing? Excellent. Wow. This place makes you feel like you've traveled back in time. There are several informative and entertaining exhibits that tell stories of the Roaring Twenties. It also has several displays of photos from Prohibition time. This place has a hidden key room. Can you tell where it's at? Pretty sneaky, right? Isn't that freaking cool? Don't mess with the mob, see? because you'll be sleeping with the fishes. The speakeasy has hundreds of artifacts relating to bootleggers, moonshine, flappers, and anything about prohibition. They even have a working moonshine still. Look at that still. That thing's awesome. That could make me a weekend's worth of booze. They actually produce their own moonshine using this still. You can buy some of their moonshine while you're here. Man, now let's check out the bar, the underground. You see? They did a good job making this bar look vintage. There are some exhibits on the bar top you can look at while you're sitting at the bar. The bar specializes in old-timey cocktails like the bee's knees and the old-fashioned. Diego ordered the Marlowe, which is made with bourbon, sherry, blackberry, lemon, and rosemary. While I ordered the Moonshine Mayhem, which is made of house-distilled moonshine, pineapple, tea, and cardamom. It was quite entertaining watching the bartenders make our drinks. First up, Diego's drink. His drink was hidden within a book. That is awesome! Do you think they did this back in the Prohibition time? Next, my drink. I loved the pineapple topping. That looks awesome. Good. That's good. As mentioned before, Diego's drink is hidden in a hollowed out book. The drink is contained in a medicine bottle, which then must be poured out into a glass. Oh, that's good. That is really good. I like it. 
That's about the coolest damn thing ever. So we just had a drink at the underground at the mob museum. My drink was okay, but mine had moonshine in it. Diego's drink was amazing. So good, so good. So if you're in Las Vegas and you're near the mob museum, stop into the underground, get yourself a drink. Just make sure you find the password. You can find it on Instagram. Just follow the mob museum on Instagram. Our next destination brings us to the Cosmopolitan on the Strip. This is where a well-known and popular bar, the Chandelier, is located. If you haven't been here, it's a three-story bar encased in a lavish chandelier. But the bar we're looking for is located on the second floor, and we had to take the escalator. The second level has several restaurants, bars, and shops. It's a sight to see. The Speakeasy is located within Block 16. This is a food court area that has several unique restaurants, everything from American cuisine, sushi, and sandwiches. The quarters don't have any indication that there's a bar back here. As a matter of fact, it's located within this dining area. The only clue you get is this sticker of a Mexican donkey. The weird thing is, there's an exit sign above the door. Basically, if you're not in the know, you won't know there's anything back there. Let's check it out. This place looks cool. Hi, good, how are you? The decor in this place is awesome. It's like being in a mini nightclub. The theme is Mexican, as you can see with this burro statue. <laughs> the baby burro is drinking out of a mezcal bottle. This is what they specialize in, mezcal and tequila. We got lucky because minutes after we got here, it was a packed house. The bartenders were slammed. Uh, look, she's making our drinks and I'm super excited to try them out. Tosh ordered a Mexican firing squad, which is made with tequila, pomegranate molasses, and Agostura bitters. Mexican firing squad. Nice. I wanted to be adventurous, so I ordered a mushroom margarita, which is made with a corn fungus called huitlacoche. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Whoa, you can really taste the mezcal. It's very smoky, and you definitely taste the mushroom. It's really good. Oh yeah, definitely a unique margarita that you should try. This place is awesome, and it's a must-see when in Vegas. Go Stunky. That was a blast. Hey, but this is the beginning of the video, so let's go check out another bar. Come on. Here's a bonus video. As we were leaving the Cosmopolitan, we ran into another speakeasy. The speakeasy was hidden by a real barber shop. <laughs> they kept it simple, and they named the place the barber shop. Well, they were pretty hush-hush on the speakeasy. It took a while to convince the bouncer we were not undercover police. And after some convincing, 
he gave us the green light. Entering the barber shop, we had to pay for two haircuts. Well, at least that's what they called it. To get into the speakeasy, the hostess then led us to a janitor closet where we were met by another bouncer who made sure we had the appropriate passes. After making sure our passes were good, he buzzed the person on the other side to let us in. I guess we looked okay to get in. This place hosts live bands practically every day. The bartenders are awesome and so are the drinks. For a good speakeasy time, come to the barber shop at Gaza Bali. Our next destination brings us to Capo's Restaurant and Speakeasy, located four miles off the strip. I was ready for some great Italian food, but my shirt collar wasn't. I want to take this time to thank Tosh for pointing that out. Thanks, Tosh. Thanks, thanks very much. So we're here at Capo's Speakeasy. Let's check this place out. We need a password. All right, so you're supposed to need a password. Some shady guy gave me a password. Let's see if this works out. He told me to ask for Sharon Stone. Just like all the other speakeasies, we had to buzz a ringer to get in. I guess that's a thing with speakeasies. Yeah, Bo, they told me to ask for Sharon Stone. Sharon Stone? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's oh. Come on. How you thank doing? you. Thank you. Good, good. The restaurant is very dark and has a vintage feel to it. It definitely feels like you are in an Italian mob restaurant. The host thought we were with another party that also was given the password Sharon Stone. Do you see them? Who? Sharon Stone? No. No, we were supposed to be alone. We were supposed to uh, sit at the bar. Oh, just two of you? Yeah, yeah. No, oh, because uh, somebody else came in by the name of Sharon Stone. Oh, okay. No, that was, that was me. I don't know. Oh yeah, cool. Thank you. We had decided to sit at the bar. There you can see the cooks in action. This place has several Al Capone images throughout the restaurant. There's a reason for that. For those of you who have been living under a rock, Al Capone, also known as Scarface, was a Prohibition-era gangster who dominated organized crime in Chicago from 1925 to 1931 and became perhaps the most famous gangster in the United States. The owner of Capo's restaurant was able to acquire Al Capone's family secret sauce. You can try their red sauce with Capo's famous meatballs. I decided to try the chicken fettuccine and Taj had mushroom fettuccine. The pasta dishes were fantastic. <laughs> there was an outline body on our way out. Boy, this place is rough. That was good. Ate at Capos, and boy, am I ready to go smoke a cigar. Come with us to our next destination. Our last destination brings us to Mandalay Bay Hotel Casino on the Strip. The speakeasy we're looking for is called 1923 Bourbon Bar, a modern speakeasy. You can't miss this speakeasy, just look for the vintage automobile. At first glance, this place looks like a makeshift bar, but there's more than meets the eye. Because there's a hidden entryway to get into this speakeasy. Now isn't that cool? This place is awesome. The decor, like other speakeasies, is meant to evoke a 20s era vibe. This place has a smoke room that just screams vintage elegance. It is appropriately named the stateroom. 
The bar, on the other hand, has more of a modern, glamorous feel to it. They had plenty of drinks on the menu. It was really hard to decide what to order. But we went with an old fashioned. The bartender's presentation was great, and so was the drink. These drinks paired very well with our cigars. It was a great way to end our night. If you're near Mandalay Bay, you must visit the 1923 Bourbon Bar and Speakeasy. Thanks for sticking around. That is the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you did and have not subscribed yet, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button, making sure you also hit that bell icon to get notified of any new videos. As always, thanks for watching, and see you soon.